What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about adding in some type of quality of life bug fix, uh, whatever you'd like to call it, uh, during the DLC period uh, of the Elder Scrolls Online. A lot of people have been suggesting that the game gets dropped down to three DLCs a year. So it would be, you know, the large major DLC, the one small story DLC, and the dungeon DLC. You would just kind of just combine, you know, dungeon DLC one and two uh, into one thing. That way you'd have all the dungeons come out at one time then do the large story DLC, and then at the end of the year, do the small story DLC. And for the other time, uh, or for the what was supposed to be in that fourth spot, have some type of UI, uh, quality of life, bug fix, anything you know that kind of revolves around things that are broken in the game could be kind of that uh, in, in that fourth spot. They could do a big cleanup each year. Now, this would be pretty nice. Uh, I can look at some other games that have done this in the past. Uh, one that I think of that it worked very, very well for it was uh, Rainbow Six Siege. They did a kind of Operation Health one time during the year instead of doing DLC to clean up a lot of things that were kind of left in the game. Some files, you know, kind of like the ESO did a while back where they kind of made the file size smaller in the game. Uh, during Operation Health and Rainbow Six Siege, uh, they fixed a lot of bugs. There's a lot of issues and decided to do that instead of a DLC. And it made the game a lot better just overall, improved the game. And I think it would be nice if... Uh, Zenimax decided to do something like this. I'm not sure if they will. I'm not sure if that's ever in, you know, kind of in the plan. But all the issues we've had here on console as of late, of course, I know PC has issues as well. But there's a lot of things that have gone on that have been pretty broken. And I think if there was some way during the year to have this big kind of just, like I said, like they did in Rainbow Six Siege, kind of this Operation Health, kind of this thing where you just work on the servers, work on the bugs, work on the problems. I'm wondering if it would make the game run smoother overall you know, kind of in time, I guess. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Would you like to see something like this? I think it would be a great idea, honestly. Like I said, I think you could still have plenty of content. Um, you know, I think it would do do wonders for the game, work wonders for the game um, by, by doing this. Like I said, you can still just kind of do that DLC, uh, you know, a little bit differently. You could leave the DLC, in my opinion, like it is. You could still have four drops, but maybe just have some of them a little bit closer together. Maybe, you know, the last dungeon dlc and the last story dlc kind of at the end of the year combine those into a little bit closer time frame and have your you know your fixes and you know have almost added a fifth kind of thing into that where you're doing your fixes and you know all that kind of stuff but we do have maintenance week in and week out on all platforms for the most part and i know it's a little bit different on every platform no matter what platform you play on and everything's gonna everything's gonna work a little bit different you're gonna have different Things are going to get looked at, different things are going to get fixed. But overall, for console, it's been a bad last month or so. We've had problems with extended maintenance. We've had problems with game-breaking bugs. Uh, I made a video a few days ago talking about the bugs that we have right now on console and how they're not going to get fixed until update 30. I think if we had some type of, of system that would allow for Zoss to go in every year and have a big kind of maintenance where they work on a lot of different stuff, I think that would be better for the overall health of the game. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on so you know when everything goes live here on the channel. And check out everything down in the description, the community Discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website, along with the discount code you can use at checkout, is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.